Just imagine your dad just has stage four lung cancer, nigga. He is fighting for his dear life back in Tucson or wherever the hell he used to live before he moved to New York. And all of a sudden, you're fighting, texting back. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. You're just, they're, your phone's getting blown up. Your mom's saying she can barely pay rent. Hey, Brandy you got fits. Come over here. We're doing it when the gang gets fly video. And come on. <laughs> you don't want to miss it. We got the engagement coming soon, please. All of them, you can't even talk about it. You can't say one second because none of them has personalities and none of them give a flying fuck about you. They just care about your followers. Come on, Brandy you got fits. Come on. <laughs> Dad's fighting for his damn life. You got to come up in the video. You got to do the, the the thing where you press your legs and spread out your pants and make it look like your bow-legged nigga in the middle of the video. You're trying to crack a smile, but you're shattered because it's too much on your damn mind because you signed up for this bullshit, nigga. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> My flamboyant, sexy, charming, fly, beautiful, amazing, divine niggas. Now today on this beautiful video, someone has requested in the comments for me to talk about it, which you guys can always do in the comments and I will talk about it. And this is a topic that I never thought I should be making because I always didn't think I could make this top. I'm messing on my words. Now, if you haven't realized, uh, a lot of people, specifically, I would say in Emma Rogue's uh, Instagram reels and uh, when you get into those fashion videos, everyone wants to be the main character. And you know, um, back then when you, when you, I don't know how to explain it, but when you put on Balenciaga, nigga, you feel like a different nigga. Like, I don't know what it is about Balenciaga, but it made everyone who was doing the trend, they felt like there was the story lonely. They thought there was on some new shit. They thought there was styling like on some crazy shit, but at the same time, nigga, no bullshit. Uh, Balenciaga is so easy to style, nigga. So it wasn't like you was you was doing damage and changing the whole entire fashion game, nigga. So I I, I give credit to uh, Balenciaga for helping a lot of niggas uh, look better than how they actually dress. So before we talk about the main character syndrome, I would like to say I used to be a main character ass nigga when I thought I was on top of the world and I had my coat following on Instagram to back me up. Niggas was ordering me food. I was going on fashion rants and niggas with my uh, story views with like triple the amount of the followers that I had. I felt like a fucking goat. I was like, oh, niggas is paying attention. All right, nigga, let me speak more shit. And I was speaking my shit. And then amazingly, beautifully, I had my ego death out of nowhere. I got into a breakup, nigga. I felt off so beautifully i posted a photo of a naked crackhead and then instagram fucking reported that they deleted my account and then i uh started a new one and realized that i was an ain't shit nigga that has to post these rants over here because uh you know it humbled me it humbled me a lot and you know when my account got deleted i was like you know what now what <laughs> I'm just a regular nigga. And that's what a lot of people don't realize because once their Instagrams and all these social media apps are gone, I think a lot of people feel like the main character when they walk into that Emma Rogue video mad powerfully, they, they like, yeah, this is da da da. And they over exaggerate their fits. If they know they're walking there, they go crazy. I've seen all this bullshit. Every single one of these bullshits that I see, nigga, that's not how the nigga actually dresses. If the nigga actually dresses like that, it's, it's, it's a two way street, nigga. It's either the nigga dresses like ass or he's dressing like ass for extra engagement because maybe she tags him, I think. Either way, I digress, nigga. When uh, the clothes, when you wear the clothes, nigga, it makes the nigga as well. Like, as when I remember when I had my huge ego at the time, nigga, and I had my little Instagram cult following. Uh, I used to, every time I'd walk around, nigga, I feel like the goat. I feel like the best person. Like, I, like when I walk, the whole room shakes, nigga. Like, every time when I go, even with the bars and every single thing like that, when I go to parties and shit, when I had the Balenciaga, I was like, yeah, niggas know now. But, um, his, uh, whole entire way to, uh, hide my insecurities by logos and fashion brands. And I think that's a lot what people do. And, uh, it's kind of sad in the world because rather than be yourself, you over exaggerate and become this shell of a person you used to be, nigga. Let that cook. Hold that. Hold it. Let it cook. Take a bite. Still needs to cook. Get back in the oven. But 
a lot of it it comes from uh this fake sense of security that you have like you feel like you made it you feel like you're on top of the world where you have a lot of people and influencers and everyone like that giving you brand deals whether it comes to that i would understand the main character syndrome too like when you go on an emma rogue video you know that that's just gonna get views because of her following so you're gonna go as crazy as you can although you look whack and you look corny for the most part i haven't seen like a decent normal one maybe there's, there's actually this one where this nigga he had a mask on and uh he was like actually very heartwarming i don't know if there's any other ones but that one specifically because i watched like maybe like three or four or five and like uh, i think like out of those five i actually watched like one or two like right through but like i got the hint that a lot of the niggas specifically in new york have this whole main character syndrome where they feel like nigga i am the main character like nigga every single time when i see those niggas like or like it'd be even, even with girls too like when they're walking <laughs> they'd be walking with their fucking jorts and their uh what is those, what are those shoes called um the sambas and they're wearing like the little jamaica jersey nigga and they're walking down new york and they got the powerful airpod pros and they're kind of dilly down their head no bullshit if i had those airpod pro maxes nigga i feel like i was on top of the world too because it's just like yo What's that Kanye song? You can't tell me nothing, nigga. No bullshit. I see why, but at the same time, let that happen. Especially if the music's busting through your head. It's like a little Bushwick uh, type of song like that's going on inside your head that you just listen to a bop in your head. No bullshit. I feel like I'm in a... Uh, what are those uh, movies called? Those uh, those little movies with Timothy Chalamet, those type of movies, nigga. I feel like I'm in a little indie film, nigga. And I'd be walking around like, yo, I feel like a little cute little girl. Pause. I feel like a little, I feel like a little lost girl because I just moved all the way to New York and I'm in the Big Apple now, so I got some big AirPods. I'm like, oh my god, like everything, and I'll I'll take photos of like little little uh, East Village shops and shit like that to uh, what's it called to make my Instagram look very uh, what is it called uh, aesthetically pleasing, and and then in reality I'm a fucking nut job. I feel like the ones who are the most genuine don't get the most recognized because they're too real and it's a because a lot of these people they would sell you an image just to get more engagement out of it because if they do like all these crazy bullshit antics that they would have never done if they hadn't had that following and that engagement and uh that brandy all those brand deals and all, all that jazz they wouldn't be doing that shit if you looked at an influencer now and then you looked at their old pictures does he even look like the same nigga? I'm telling you, nigga. It's like I'm it's like I'm making uh, government conspiracy theories. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> in this suspicious ass room. <laughs> but uh, yeah, nigga. <laughs> Speaking of influencers, I am a fake influencer by damn self. And if I were to call out any of these influencers, because I don't want any I don't want any relationships to do with any of these fashion niggas. I don't care if I burn any ties that I would ever get with these fashion niggas because my main thing is not even going to be fashion. It's not even related to that. So I could give a shit less. But some of these influencers are actually really nice. From what I heard from my niggas interacting with them in New York, I feel like some of them are genuinely nice or some of them have like this persona of trying to be nice for like the camera and clicks and views. But like, you know, you get like the more exaggerated you see the people's lifestyles on uh, social media, the more it's bullshit. And uh, it's all because of that. Oh, I have to keep going crazier so they can uh, ha for shock value. This, that, the third. When in reality, they're just doing this for clicks and views. Because imagine if that account gets completely wiped out, <laughs> taking all that piercings off, taking all those fucking hair dyes out, and you're going back to that coffee shop in Bushwick and you're working a nine to five. Nigga. No bullshit, and I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Most of these influencers do work these nine to fives, just like us regular niggas. And I wouldn't say I'm regular, but I, <laughs> as you guys can see, this is the most that you'd see me in. Uh, un, like my dreads will always remain the same. If not, mostly I would get bangs, and that's what I've been aiming for, like a little dread mullet and his tongue ring and that's about it honestly like i i think i'm good i think that's like the only thing that i would ever change about myself i feel like uh i'd be a little more sweeter and nicer because of all the things that niggas do for me and how i got the way i was if i were to ever be at the at the pinnacle top of being uh anywhere at the level of like having main character syndrome like i did in the past before my account got deleted i feel like um, <laughs> ah. <coughs> ah. 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 
um, besides all that, I feel like I'll be the same nigga. And I feel like a lot of niggas uh, who are remain the same don't get the chance at the spotlight, nigga. So without that being said, with all that being said, I should say, Kari, subscribe, niggas, for more content. The sun is going down, so young nigga is turning ugly. It's turning to gorilla hours, nigga, and I do not want to look like a gorilla on camera, nigga. I do need to finish setting up the giveaway. I have to FaceTime my nigga just to set it up. Sorry, guys, it's taking a little while, so that's why I'm cranking out these videos so I can uh, buy a little time. Um, I have to take off the hoodie, do the badass exit while I do this. If you feel like you yeah, have main uh, character syndrome, Get out of it, nigga, before you're too lost in the sauce. And next thing you know, uh, you are in a studio with a bunch of niggas with no personalities. And you guys are having a, a release, fa shitty fashion brand release party. And none of you guys are really talking. You're just filming reels and, like, panning the camera around. Like, that's, that's another sign uh, if you uh, realize that you have main character syndrome. Um... So, can I subscribe, niggas, for more content? Of course, this video's kind of jumbled all over the place. It's a it's more of a rant video more than anything. Uh, like, that, I took a couple jabs at myself, but hey. The best quote as I walk off, my favorite quote of all time. I think I speak vicariously through it every single time ever since I heard it. I don't know where I heard it from, but as a real nigga used to say, it's your world. I'm just living in it, nigga. Game over.